time to knock some things off your bucket list. First up, travel the world. If you've always wanted to visit Hong Kong or vacation in the Swiss Alps and wondered what it was like, well, Jeanette, Yvette, and Tina got the scoop for you. These jet-setting divas are always at some fun and exotic place experiencing the best of what life has to offer. And each week, they'll tell you all about it. These ladies are always high-flying loads of fun. Hi, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, Tina. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, what's hey. going on? What's going on today? What was hey. the week? We, hey, we got an ex, uh, exciting guest today that we want to introduce uh, to you all. Um, this is going to be a great show, so make sure okay. you're tuned and listen to the whole thing. So we got um, Mr. Hartley Home himself, okay. Marcus King. If you're not following him on Instagram, just go to Mr. Hartley Home. You can get all the information about travel and Hartley Home itself. <laughs> hey, there he is. Hey, Marcus. How are hey, you? Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? How Hello. This is the Travel King, Mr. Hardly Home. Uh, uh, yes. He's going to tell us about some of the adventures that he have gone on, him and his wife, in the last month. I'm so wow. excited, you know, to hear about it. Um, what Hardly Home got in store for us coming up. So, Marcus, I saw when you and Arset, Arset is his wife, went out to Ghana. Like, I want to know about this trip. Yes. I want to know about Ghana, like, tell us about it. This is different. <laughs> we want to go to Ghana. We do. <laughs> what y'all want to know? Yeah. Start, Tina, off, start, you... start, off, start off with you know how you got there. What what did what did it take to get to Ghana? I mean, as far as uh, COVID protocols and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like y'all, I wanted to go to Ghana for a really long time. <laughs> I was trying to get to Ghana um, for for the past few years. Like it's been number one on my list of destinations, like place I wanted to go. Yeah. I'm applying for grants. I'm applying for grants. I'm you know doing all the research. You know trying to meet whoever I can. And um, I I finally I got the push from a, a coworker actually. Um, and so I work in the study abroad field and my coworker uh, really pushed me to just go for it and try to do it this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, timing wise really worked out because I set my wife, she's a teacher. And so she has the summers off, of course. Um, I'm also again in education and so summers are a slower time for for me as well uh even though i'm in higher ed um nonetheless she gave me that final little push to be like now is the time to do it go yeah. for it and i jumped on it okay um, <laughs> so marcus i have a question for you it's kind of a follow-up to tina's we we all do, we all do have the COVID vaccine, and we're in, and I, I, honestly with me, I'm encouraging my family members and friends to get the vaccine. But do you have to have the vaccine, or do you have to have any type of paperwork to go to Ghana? You do not have to have the COVID vaccine okay. to go to Ghana. You do have to have a yellow fever vaccine. Oh, to oh okay. To go to Ghana. Okay. Um, I highly recommend my friends and family to also get the COVID vaccine. Yeah, um, too. And if nothing else, as it relates to travel, um, because it's just too risky. Mm -hmm. with, yeah. Without it, um, yeah. Health, health aside, if you don't have a negative test to go on the trip, you can't get on the plane. Oh. Um, and mm. so all and so all of the mm -hmm. money you spent or what what have you planning this great vacation taking off days of work or what have you all of that time is is lost and and you're just not yeah. going right. so you have to have the covid you have to have a negative covid test to get to yeah. Ghana, get into Ghana so yeah. you have to have a negative covid test okay so you can leave the airport in Houston or Dallas okay. or wherever you're at 
Oh, okay. Is, is okay. there a time frame? Is there a time frame? Like you have to have a 72, 72 hours, hours. Or 24? Yeah. That's, that's 72 hours. Okay. okay. Yeah. You have to have okay. that test. A negative test within the so, past 72 hours. I'm so assuming there's like a site or something that you upload. I mean, we've traveled before and had to do this. Is there a site or something that you go and you upload and put this information on so they'll know that you have it? Uh, they actually check it when you say you go to check your bags. Like oh, okay, okay. Before mm -hmm. you even get to oh, okay to secure. Wow. Okay, that's a little different. That's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So so Marcus. Okay, so I know because I, I follow you on Instagram. So you all went to is it was it Amsterdam first? Yeah, we had a, a layover. Oh in, wow, uh, wow! <laughs> I wanted yeah. to go to so, Amsterdam. I had us plan to go there. <laughs> yeah, we, we missed our trip last year. We was actually we we were booked and ready to go, but of co of course COVID came and we and we couldn't get there. We, we were going to Italy, but I was we had a stop. No, we didn't have a stop. We were just going well, to go. We're going to catch a train over. We're going to catch a train over to Amsterdam and to Paris. So how long uh -huh. of a, a plane ride was there from Houston to, to um, the Netherlands? The plane Do you ride, remember? It was nine hours from Houston. Okay. To, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. And then yeah. you left there and you went over to Africa. And how long was that? Six. Six okay. hours from Amsterdam. Okay. Okay, so so give us some of the highlights, you know, of 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 um, what things that y'all y'all did in, in Ghana. Yeah, so we, we were there for two weeks. And wow. Yeah. Um. I mean, when you when you you all travel, you you know, when you travel that far, you gotta you gotta right. make make the yeah. most of it, right? Yeah. Right. Um. And and so we stayed at three different places mm, okay while we were out Real familiar yeah we, we essentially did like four or five days in in three different places mm -hmm. so marcus what were the places can you give us the places that you where did you fly into and what were the places that you went to when you got there yeah we um we so we flew into katoka uh okay. the airport in accra and okay that's how you pronounce it, Accra. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, I, yeah, that's that's how I've pronounced it, and that's how it was confirmed. I <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, but so there's a, a popular neighborhood called Osu uh, in Accra, and uh, we started off in an Airbnb called uh, Aqua Place. Um, mm. which is like kind of like really in the heart of of the neighborhood um it's actually mm -hmm. coco limli is the name of the neighborhood it's, it's just adjacent to osu and so it was very close to like a uh, lot of like lounges and bars and, and restaurants very very busy area yeah um and i've thought about living in a crowd Mm. at some point and so i wanted to have somewhat of like a, a local experience like okay what it would be like to to live you know in the city and so we spent those uh first four or five days in the airbnb which was built like a a, a, a six a six house uh, or six not six bedroom but a six apartment town home if, if you will mm -hmm. um, and so we had a um one of those rooms on on the top floor uh which had a really nice uh rooftop kitchen two bedroom two showers um so really just like an apartment in the in the city and so okay. that was uh that was a real cool cool experience uh, okay I have a, so i have a question around um the planning of it. it was this an all-inclusive package or did you choose the places you wanted to go and then you you mapped out your own itinerary yeah so um that's a, that's a good question um <laughs> so i always 
start with a flight because I figure if I don't have a flight, I'm who not did you who did you fly with? And, and I'm, a, I'm the budget person, I'm the cheap person, really. The group who did you, how much did it cost? That's what I want to know. How much did it cost? Oh, yes. just, or just tell us if it was reasonable, it's very expensive. Well, you just look at the range of how much it would cost for, yeah. I, I would like to uh, know. <laughs> But but now let, let him finish because he was saying what did they do? He started off with a flight. That's how we <laughs> always do. Yeah, we that's started off with do. a flight, and then we figure out the rest yeah. later. Okay, go on. You you started off with a flight. Okay, so then what you do? Did you get a tour company? Did you do it yourself, or what did you do? Tell us. I I, I, did, I did it myself. It was okay. Uh, okay. A lot of research, like I had mentioned, I had been doing my research on on Ghana for you know the past few years. Mm -hmm. and, and so um but of course you know like once you get the flight like things change like that's a game changer um it's like okay now now we're going so <laughs> right right get, get, get into it. um so uh after that uh oh the flight you asked what airline we flew oh klm the the dutch okay. airline so that's okay okay the layover in Amsterdam mm -hmm. uh, and that layover was like eight hours so we got there like 7 8 a.m in the morning so time okay of the day. and yep. um, at this time this was like July 1st um, and so I think this was like right when Europe and uh, the Netherlands like just opened their borders up and so uh, there was uh -huh. like, nobody in the airport there was no mm -hmm. line oh, wow. was easy. to get through mm -hmm. customs like we walked straight to the front of the uh the 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 customs guy or whatever who stamped wow. our, who stamped our passport and they had a um a train that takes you to like the central station where okay you can just get off and, and walk or or ride a bike so they all ride bikes. Like everybody has a bike. Mm -hmm. They bike. They're, they're biking to school. They're biking to work. They're biking to lunch, breakfast, dinner. All wow! Of that. And so that was like real and interesting to to see. Um, and everybody was right. But um, yeah. we flew KLM, and those tickets were eight hundred dollars round trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I had to go because that's the cheapest I've seen. Like, um, and so I just right. had to jump in, basically. Cur courtesy, um, uh, uh, the economic stimulus payments, but because they they funded my pilgrimage to go back. <laughs> Okay. okay that's all good and so you you uh scheduled all you booked all your airbnbs you did your um your uh research you know i'm used to doing that reviews trying to figure out the best place to stay trying to figure out the best area you know where you're gonna um have the least amount of you know transportation you're gonna be where like maybe you can walk or if you're gonna drive somewhere or everything is not far so you did all that research yourself yeah. yes yes um i mean i talk to people too of course who've been uh -huh. so just um like how y'all talking to me just uh -huh. you know seeing what what the experience um I think hashtags are. I use hashtags yeah. for like okay. searching information, right? Particularly like so you a, a location or to get a visual okay. for this is what this area looks like. This is what's popping in this area. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I I find out like some really. Local so what are the okay you said. Okay, so what are the other? I think you said you had what, maybe like two or three more places that you yeah. were um, that you all stayed in. What are the other places? Uh, the, so the second place was uh, in Elmina, uh, which is supposed. It's about a two, um, not a good solid three-hour drive from a, from across from the city. 
Um, okay. And we stayed at Lemon Beach Resort. And I got final searching hashtags on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I really, I wanted to stay. So I'm a beach person. We, we, yeah, we beach people. Um, <laughs> and Accra and Cape Coast, like this, they're on the coast, right? So mm -hmm. I wanted also that beach experience. Um, yeah. Okay. Where to really like this lounge and enjoy being on vacation, but also it's where it's located is closer to some other things that I wanted to do, like go to the Cocoon National Forest. They have a, a canopy walk. Um, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I saw your pictures on Instagram. Yeah, okay, I've got to go. Yeah, did you see that? It's like a suspension bridge. No. Okay, yeah. It looks really scary. Is it scary? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit on the scary side. That look really. I don't know if I actually would do it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, Marcus, the the waterfall. I love that waterfall picture. So, where where is that? What is what is that waterfall called? So the waterfall is called Boaty Falls, and it it's actually a a twin fall. So uh, they say it's a, a husband and a wife, a male and female, if you will. Wow. One, okay. Um, and one of them is a little bit smaller. That's the the the, the female. The yep. <laughs> so it's, it's the male. Um, and the pictures and the video, they don't do it justice. No, I'm not. sure. I'm sure it doesn't. Mm. So, Boaty Falls. Boaty that Falls. Was an awesome okay. Falls. Place. Mm. So, yeah. Marcus, I have a question for you. What was your highlight of your? So, we all want to go to Ghana. We all want to go to, uh, I guess you said, Korea. But what was your highlight of your whole trip? I think the highlight for us was the week we stayed at the Lemon Beach Resort in El uh -huh. um, Okay. It was just a, a, a real good experience. Um, we were there from like Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And we stayed in an a African chalet, which is mm. like a, 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 a circular uh, dome style hut. Um, mm -hmm. with a, a, okay. cone top, a cone top on it, but mm -hmm. the resort is right on the beach, and so we had one of the chalets that was it was the closest to the the water. Okay, essentially, mm -hmm. um, and we had the the windows open just the whole time, um, just letting the ocean breeze run through there the whole week we, we were there no no ac needed there was a, a fan mm -hmm. but it was plenty okay. cool oh um, wow and listening to the the waves oh, yeah the, the waves oh. crash crash on the on the rocks on the beach mm -hmm. um, yeah it was it was real special i'm sure yeah, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. That sounds like something I I need to get into. Absolutely, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so what kind of food did you all eat? Like, was the food amazing or what? You read, you read my mind. <laughs> um, yeah. So the the best meal I had was also at Lemon Beach Resort. Mm -hmm. so, it's called uh, Red Red. Have y'all mm. heard of it? No, I have it, not. No, is it green? Never heard of it. It's, it's, I'm trying to remember and make sure I get it right. But it's rice and plantain oh. with, with oh. uh, like, I, I had mine with fish. I think you could get it with, with other stuff potentially, but mm -hmm. I think fish might be the, the most popular. So fishing is okay. a real big industry there. Again, yeah. it's, it's on the coast. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's uh, it's it's like fish and, and rice with uh, plantain and, and like a red type of stew or paste. Mm -hmm. I want to try okay. Those might be the totally wrong words, but 
it was delicious. Okay. <laughs> or, 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 okay. Uh, point of the story, it was delicious. Okay. Uh, and a lot so of the, I was just going to mention a lot of the, the fruits and vegetables, like just real fresh, mm -hmm. real organic tasting. Oh, well, well, we know that you like those fresh vegetables because I've seen a <laughs> garden. Marcus grows a garden that's out of this world. Oh, wow. <laughs> he has a lot of uh, fruits fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So Marcus, we want to know about Partly Home and the apparel and what you got coming up and, you know, just tell us about some of the things that's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, you can see there, Partly Home, I started that back in 2013, y'all. I see. Yeah. It's, it's still here. It's still, it's still yeah, here. that's All great. Right. That's awesome. It's always super cool seeing seeing people pull out you know shirts that i made a long time yeah. stuff that i made yeah we 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 went to your ski summit and you you actually purchased we actually got shirts from you yeah. so I, I i still have mine i don't have it on because it's long sleeve <laughs> yeah i'd be like man you, you you still got that that's yeah. always like really cool and a, and a hat <laughs> yeah and I, I have that and i have the uh i have a um a hoodie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I have my Hardly Home shirt in my hat right now. So yeah. yeah. Well, Marcus, I gotta get a, I gotta get a hat. I got my shirt on. Me and you we got the same shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 But but Marcus have other you have other um um apparel also. You it's just not hardly home. There there are other things that yeah, you have. So, right, so yeah, I got a couple of different websites and so I've been like strategizing about how I can um uh, I guess bring all of that together so it doesn't right. be, like multiple, you know, things that I have to manage. And so I'm I'm still trying to put my finger on that, but I mean you can still find um uh, everything kind of like through hardlyhome.com or at hardlyhome. Uh -huh. Um so yeah, I got like multiple Instagram pages and stuff. But. <laughs> So, so can I ask a question? What was behind the the thought? And Hardly Home is like the perfect name. So, what was behind? You know, when, when you when you started in twenty thirteen, what was your goal? What did you what did, what, did, what did you intend to do? Was it just a uh, a thought? What was your thought process then? Uh, I just wanted to do something fun. I wanted okay. to do something <laughs> creative. Like I, I had a I think an itch to like create. Um, I was just living life, but ultimately, right. I I had a dream that I was in Jamaica, and, <laughs> and at the time, Jamaica was at the number one on my destination list. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I, I I woke up, y'all, and it was time to go to work. <laughs> so we see that Hardly Home backpack behind you. It's not only t-shirts, hats, but we see that backpack behind you also. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things that you can get, and a lot of different other t-shirts with other sayings also yeah. Yeah. that he has. You know, just, you will be able to just go to his um, Instagram, Mr. Hartley Home, or go to his website. Partlyhome.com, and you'll be able to see just you know all kind of stuff. Okay, so yeah. Marcus, I want to see did you did you do anything in Amsterdam? That was my question. Because you know I'm trying to get to the red light district. Look, she's trying to go back to Amsterdam. <laughs> you trying to go to the red light district. Marcus, did you did you go, Marcus, while you were and had that layover in Amsterdam? Yeah. So when you get off, <laughs> when you get off the train, and so we were again we were there for eight hours, and so. Mm -hmm. it, we I'm trying to think. We were essentially like in the city, probably from about eight thirty to one p.m. Okay. And so we um we went to a coffee shop. Uh, that was the first thing we did. Uh, once we arrived, um, hopped off the train, and so that was a, a cool experience. Um, do y'all know what a coffee shop is? 
I do know what a coffee shop is, uh, Marcus, so I won't go in here. Okay. <laughs> no, we can get the coffee shop. Okay. Well, we'll we'll let we'll let Jeanette explain what coffee shop is on another. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, after that, we were hungry, so we went to go get something to eat. We went and had some some breakfast, and found a spot i think it was called a breakfast club which was oh wow yeah, yeah we had we had a, a real good a real good breakfast some nice uh some nice coffee again like a real nice cappuccino or whatnot um and we watched the people ride their bikes because again like everybody was riding watch. A bike. Yeah. yeah yeah and then after that we did a little bit of shopping and um we came on. We came on back to the airport because you know it was time to time to go. Okay. Yeah. Before before you, before you go, I don't before I, you, you close out or anything. I had a question about gun. I have to go back. So um, I've heard about the the business and the economic development, and it's like the black America. You know, is that true? Is that what you saw when you were there? A lot of just people doing great things, entrepreneurship, businesses, large businesses there. How much? How much time we got? Because I could get y'all. I'm I'm for just, how much time we got? We we, talk, we we just talk. We're gonna just yeah, talk. We're just talking. Just, just, just go keep going. All right. Yes. So. On, on that aspect, yes, my conclusion was I saw a lot of opportunity uh, yeah. in, in Ghana. I see okay. opportunity everywhere. Um, yeah. There, there's, there's definitely, um, how can I say? Let me, let me put it this way. Um, well, in terms of opportunity, yes. One of the things that I'm interested in is increasing the quality of life for those in Africa as well as, as well as here in America for black people, for the diaspora. And so um, there's a lot of room for improvement um, mm -hmm. in, in Ghana as mm -hmm. it is for our people here in the States. And so um, the level of poverty there is much lower than what we're accustomed to mm -hmm. in the States. Mm -hmm. And if you're, it, it can be a culture shock if, mm -hmm. if you're not prepared for it or if you don't know how to, um, you know, handle, handle that. But at the same mm -hmm. time, the people there, like they, they live there and so, that's their that's their life that's how they survive that's how they live and they have so much joy at the same time mm -hmm. yeah and so like you have to be able to you know appreciate that mm -hmm. um but you know i guess find uh i guess your your where you fit in the equation of you know yeah. how to move that forward how to progress yeah. Okay. So, Marcus, I got another question for you. Would you, <laughs> you said that you wanted to, move, you were thinking about moving there, and I know that there are many Black Americans that are relocating to Ghana. Yes. They're saying they're going back home. So, would you actually go back and live there? I definitely want some some property out there. I definitely okay. want uh, a place to go. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and be in in Ghana. Um, at least for a year or two of my life yeah you know, if i'm able to you know make that happen but again like the opportunity i think is is tremendous mm, um, yeah the the currency are uh, so the, the cost of living um especially like food and and i say food in, in particular um is very advantageous like when it comes to currency change for the the mm -hmm. dollar um and depending on i guess where you want to live and how you want to live of course you know two super big factors um you can 
you can do well um, in terms of, uh, you know, if you got some money to go over there and, and make something happen. So you saying we can be bougie over there. We can eat all steak and lobster for a lot less than we do here. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great, Marcus. I mean, like, 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 we are we are getting like some really good information. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to your so, I'm gonna go to your Instagram and check it out because I want to see everywhere you went, all of your pictures and videos and yes. Maybe we could plan something, G just said and Davis and go to Ghana. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I love that. I love that. Great, great information. Great yes. information. I think I think people will be able to take this information and plan some trips and go to Ghana. Um, I mean, like we could talk forever about this. I'm like, yeah. you know, it's just nonstop, you know, at this point. But we, yeah. we really do appreciate you, Marcus, coming yeah. on this show, Marcus. giving us all of this information. Um, you know, um, I would just say if people have additional questions, if you don't mind, if they can reach out to you, you know, go follow you on your um, what are some of your um, your 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 handles on um, Instagram? Yeah, so the, the main one is at Marcus King, that's M A R C U S, and then it's K X N G. Okay. So instead of K-I-N-G, it's K-X-N-G. Okay. Okay. And, awesome. And that right. will link to all my other Instagram pages. Right. Okay. Awesome. And, this has been great. This has been great. A lot of great information. You've definitely removed the fear factor of going to another country and, you know, what to expect. You definitely have provided that. <laughs> You've also inspired us, Marcus, because I'm really inspired to go to Ghana now. Even through, throughout COVID, you just got back. So I know that we can go. We need to plan a trip there next year. So I'm going to be looking for flights, Marcus. <laughs> it felt like COVID was a lot more under control out there than it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, Marcus, it was great talking to you. We're going to wrap this stuff up. And we appreciate you coming on and Thank giving us all this information. And um, we look forward. Maybe we can have you on another time when you, you know, you and your wife, y'all may go somewhere else exotic. And we're going to have to find out all about it. But we really appreciate you. Yeah, we can do a part two. Thanks, thanks for having me. Absolutely, <laughs> Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. Right. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Jeanette. And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. Hey, Divas. Let's get planned. We're going to start planning. We're going to Ghana and have a good yeah, time. Ghana. Woo! <laughs> Tune in next Thursday when the Jet Setting Divas will tell you about another fun destination spot that you'll want to visit. For more on their excursions, log on to ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com.